Oh, wow. This one looks kind of pink, right? Oh, that's nice. Hey guys, we're here in Jim Mountain in Spruce Pine, North Carolina, and we came out here to more, some more gems and minerals. We have an awesome tour guide. They said they do dynamite and dynamite blast this area quite frequently, so a lot of stuff should just be scattered around the dirt. Uh, let's see. That looks kind of cool. Oh, right here. Some color in this rock. We got some aquamarine. Garnet. Garnet. This is an awesome tour guide right here. <laughs> Alright guys, just walking down this this mine. I already see some more. I think this is aquamarine. And it's oh clear quartz right here. Some like gray looking marine. I uh, thought I saw some more blue somewhere around here, right here. Put this in the bucket. Turn around. See, that's nice. I, we just find these rocks just laying on top of the soil. That's a really nice piece right here. I'm just putting it in her bucket. You feel like it's worth keeping keep it. I see something like this is not worth it. Uh, I guess not. I see some aquamarine right here. Just find some good stuff laying on top of the top of the ground. Barely need to even break anything open. Uh, the clear court right there. Uh, there's another aquamarine just laying right here on top of this top of the dirt. Top of these minerals. There's a few, a few of them around here. Trying to find a really big size one. A good fistful. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. So we've been here for about an hour now. And this is just a few that I just picked up. Yeah, the, the, so far this place is pretty nice. Yeah. We'll tell you how much it costs us to be here. I'll say so far it's looking worth it. Yeah, it is, look. <laughs> just going around, rock picking. Uh, it was nice, but let's see, I'm being picky now. I want those real extravagant ones. So I just picked this one out from up here. It's got a little bit of red to it. It looks nice. Real pretty rock. I was just digging right here and I found this cool little blue stuff. That's not, I'm pretty sure it's not a rock or anything, but it breaks apart real easily. I just wanted to show you guys. Something really cool on how the earth just produces this awesome blue color. It's amazing. So I just broke it open a smoke quartz. Looks really nice. This whole rock. It's a smoke quartz rock. That's why it looks a little purple. I'm pretty sure it's not amethyst. It's just probably smoke quartz. Uh, sometimes when I find good things inside these rocks, I guess over time they like fall in between. And yeah, see a blue one right here. 
What's this? Hey? Oh wow! This one looks kind of pink, right? Oh, that's nice. I hope it's not just dirty. I hope that's something, maybe a rose quartz. We'll find out when we clean it. That's nice. This one right here. Yeah, it's okay. Some more blue ones right here. Oh wow, another one. Another red looking crystal, wow. I like finding these. That's nice. I have better luck just picking around. And I do digging and cracking open rocks. I tell you that. I know it's probably not how I'm gonna find the biggest finds, but I'll tell you what, definitely will find something just by doing this method. Yeah, this one looks kind of cool. I'll take it if it looks cool. Part of blue, blue rock up here. Good size. Right here, I'll take it. The bluer, the better. This is it's kind of pretty. Uh, it. Clear quartz. A little smoky though. Pretty smoky actually. This rose over there. Yep, we're in it, all right. So we're here cleaning up the rocks, and these are all the rocks we found. So these are the rock slash gemstones we found at Jim Mountain Gemstone Mine in Spruce Pine, North Carolina. Check it out. We got some really cool stuff. You see this pinkish rock? We're not sure what this is. We still gotta do some more research. Uh, but we will be telling you um, that we do have a couple of garnet rocks in here. Of course, we have some clear quartz in here. We have some, we have some aqua marines. We also have golden barrel. 
we have terminal and we have a bunch of rocks with smoky quartz with mica on it so rose and i actually have a friendly competition of who picked the best rocks uh so from this pink rock to the left you have everything that rose picked out except for the ones on the top we both kind of picked them out together and then from this pink rock to the right you have all the rocks that i picked out so we will be scanning over possibly over every single rock we can you can decide on who's the better picker okay so let's start on top we have a lot of these rocks with mica growing over it that's what this is called right here the shiny flaky material coming off the rock and this is a mica covered quart we have smaller versions of the mica covered quartz if it looks a little dark that is smoky quart in there we have a bunch of smoky quart in here more smoky quart with we have some tourmaline in here along with this some little bit of quartz some more smoky quart this one does glitter i'm trying to go over as much rocks as possible because beauty is in the eye of the beholder these rocks have a lot of mica on them this is the mica again this flat uh, shiny surface or scaly lookingness on the rock a lot of mica very nice mica smoke quartz right here So this court actually has some garnet in it. And that garnet is the, the red looking uh, crystal right there, gem. And that's not a ruby. Fun fact, rubies are more pink. They're more on the pink side. Garnets are that dark red that you'll be seeing more of in just a few seconds. more garnet right here on this smoky court this is a good take this is a good look right here on about the smoky court with the garnet on this side all the red what looks to be as red rubies is actually garnet that's what gives you that great rich dark wine red color for your jewelry so if you have any dark red ruby looking stones they just might be garnet and it's still a great great gem some more mica covered smoky quartz i want to move on to we'll start with with uh my side first Kind of have the rocks laid out in a way where the blue essence in the rock is aqua marine okay so all these blue rocks that look have a tint of blue blue is aqua marine when these are cut these will look clear as a diamond but they will have a turquoise hue to them a little turquoise turquoise hue more this is more mica this is what flakes off that rock this is tourmaline all these black rocks right here are tourmaline this is tourmaline mixed with mica mixed with some quart so more aquamarine as you can see the hue can go from a uh, yellowish blue to a nice turquoise blue and the yellowish yellowish blue the more yellow it gets it starts to turn into as what's, what's called golden barrel which is maybe right here this may be some golden barrel right here but i do have positive identity on some golden barrel over here and we'll get to that 
This is more aquamarine. Now we're heading to the clear quartz. This is a clear quartz right here. This is a quartz, clear quartz. And then over here you'll find my best finds, which will be my terminal, which is, let me show you guys. You see that redness right there? That's what it looks like when it's terminal. These rocks right here are cut. Well, it's not very shiny outside, but I do got a flashlight on this. Okay. This is aquamarine right here. All these rocks right here that are kind of blue. Including these is what they look like when they're cut. They can get, they look like crystal clear and in a diamond form. And it has a, that tint of turquoise blue in it. This is some pretty clear aquamarine right here. Looks like glass shards. To me anyways. So this is the golden barrel. When this is cut into a diamond form, it will have, it will be clear like a diamond, but it'll have a yellow tint to it. It'll look more, more yellow. Some more tourmaline right here. Some more quartz. This is, this is not a rose quart. It's just a regular quart, a uh, clear quart. It's got some rust on it though. That's why it looks a little pink. And these are my clearest quartz right here. This one's pretty clear. See my finger right through it. Very pretty. We found. <laughs> oh, are you? My neighbor's coming over here. Look how beautiful. Yeah, check them out. <clears throat> That's a hell of a collection. Moving on to Rose's side. She has some great looking gems. She is a big fan of the tourmaline. She actually has a rare tourmaline right, let me see, right here. When the light is shining on it, through it, it actually comes out a little green. That's, uh, that's that makes a great cut for like a, a ruby side, a ruby type cut. It will come out with a, like a, a dark hint of green in it, a green hue. Very nice. She has more aquamarines. This is a great aquamarine right here. Very nice piece. She has her clear quartz right here. Very nice. And her piece of resistance, she had the best find of golden barrel. All this is a golden barrel that she found. This is beautiful, beautiful crystal. When the go again, when the golden barrel is cut, it looks like a yellow diamond. So the difference between the diamonds and these gems, I'm showing you guys, is that a diamond has a hardness of like level 10, and these gems have a hardness of level 7. So in in a way, they will look the same when they're cut, like especially in diamond form, but the hardness is the only difference. Um, the clarity in this clear quart is really nice. Here goes more of the garnet, beautiful dark red whenever it's cut. She has some more smoky quartz. Again, she's a big fan of tourmaline. She has her best tourmaline over here though. Bigger sizes plus the rare, the rare one. Her best garnets over here. She found this rock right here. I'm not too sure what this is. Um, maybe it's something, maybe not. It does have some blue to it. She has more smoky, smoky quartz up here. This rock up here is smoky quartz with, with some quartz with uh, the tourmaline on the side. Very nice. She was a big fan of the mica. She has a lot of nice mica right here, which is that stuff that flakes off the rock, like we discussed. She's a big piece right here. I mean, it's pretty, very beautiful. 
but very fragile. That's eight, mica cannot be used as jewelry unless it's like framed, like a type of frame jewelry. Oh shoot. Very fragile. Just leave it out. Beautiful rocks here and there. Mica covered quartz. And tourmaline on the court on the rock tourmaline on the on smoky court this is pretty some smoky court in there Garnet. Very nice aquamarine. So I'm actually thinking about cutting some of these myself. I do want to learn how to cut gems probably make start making jewelry but if anyone's interested in purchasing one of these raw gems uh, let us know in the comments maybe that's something we can do maybe it's something we could put on our channel make a little shop and uh, see if any of y'all are interested in, in purchasing one of these um, so yeah this is Rose's side once again all of the gems that she found and this is my side all the gems that I found uh, go ahead let us know who you think is the best or the better uh, gem picker for this journey all of these gems once again were found at Gem Mountain in Spruce Pine North Carolina and let me just tell you our experience there was very top notch. Uh, it was a little costly. It was about 100 bucks per person to mine there. I mean, you see why we, you, you're going to get your money's worth definitely. But it, very, we have a very great tour guide, and uh, it's a very great place to, to mine at. I would highly recommend it. I will be uh, putting a link to our other gem mining in North Carolina at um, in Hedonite at Hollow Mine uh, Park, and then I can also put a link in our video uh, to gem mining in Georgia at Graves Mountain. That's where we had our very first mining trip, and we've came a long way. Still very excited we want to mine more we were thinking about going to arizona that's where the real diamonds are the level level 10 hardness real diamonds or california most likely we'll venture to arizona first but yeah give a like and a thumbs up if you feel like you want to see more mining videos or if you have any questions about specific gems please let us know